Hi guys, welcome to Origin and I'm going to start off with a quick word of advice. If you're anywhere near me, or if the outside of your house looks like this, don't go outside because you will get extremely high. Okay, so apart from Save the Dick, why has it been a month since I've made videos? The answer is quite simple, I've just been too busy. Mainly because I've been working on this big computer music project. I would show you it, but the software I was working on has now expired. I timed it just right, it expired on the day where I had to hand in my project, so... I'm sorry that I can't show you it, but... To, ba to basically describe what I did, I was turning my computer keyboard into an instrument. And the end result was quite cool, so... I think I've done okay with that. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh some recent YouTube drama between Crazy Crazy Caleb and Straight Dope. Now, Crazy Crazy Caleb, many of you will know he's on quite good terms with TJ. Um, TJ's talked about Crazy Crazy Caleb quite a few times. Um, he's an op in his blog TV room, and was one of the first ops in his blog TV room. Uh, Straight Dope uh, is harder to describe, and certainly without pissing a few people off, so I'm just going to attempt to do it. Uh, he's basically a kind of YouTube historian who puts his, uh, well, kind of trollish angle on things, if you like. I don't want to flat out call him a troll because, you know, as as I've always known, a troll is someone who tries to provoke a response from other people, and he just uh, tells it how he think it is from this uh, very honest, very direct perspective. People people will even criticise me now for saying the word honest, but. Like I said, it's difficult to sum him up in a way that you're not going to get someone on your back for doing it. But it started off, uh, Caleb accused Straight Dope of basically doctoring his PMs in every video he's ever done. And guess how he did that? With a screenshot. What did I say in my video? I don't, this, this is a big clue here. Screenshots can be faked. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while to catch on, I know, but it better start catching on. And certainly after this drama, I seriously hope it does. So I pointed this out to Caleb in a comment on his video, and I never really followed it up. The next video I saw from him was a video called Faithism. I need to make that clear, I didn't see any videos by Caleb or Straight Dope between the video where he initially accused Straight Dope of doctoring the PM and his video Faithism. First time round, I watched it completely oblivious to the immediate background of that video and so all I took away from it was Caleb was saying in this video you know, don't be a faithiest, don't take things on faith and I just thought that was a pretty excellent message so I five-starred and favorited the video and I left a comment saying excellent message Caleb in those exact words I then got a comment response from someone who I had contact with immediately after Fake Sagan's final suspension uh, this person told me that uh, I was being easily deceived. Now, seeing as how the only thing I wrote on um, Caleb's video was excellent message, Caleb, this obviously raised some pretty big questions, so I decided to follow it up, you know. Okay, where did this come from, you know. I, I thought she was accusing me of um, taking Caleb's side in a kind of drama thing, so I, asked a co I left a comment asking for clarification. And one thing I said was that both people used PM, so I could hardly say that, you know, there was enough evidence to make an accusation either way. And she came back with, what are you talking about? There's not, not enough evidence. Straight Dope proved that Caleb had doctored his PM. And so obviously from, from then on I knew I'd missed something. I knew there was uh, something more to the to the video which Caleb had just made, and it turned out that Caleb had... Caleb had actually taken my advice and he'd, uh, he shot himself going into his inbox, but it was still using the screen capture software. I don't, I don't know exactly how it was done because the original video has been put on private, and all I could... all I had to go by was Straight Dope's video, and from what I saw, he started off on YouTube you know, using his uh, screen capture software and went into his inbox. But he had capitalised Straight Dope's name. And that uh, 
that proved without any doubt that he had doctored the PM and Straight Dog pointed this out in his video Crazy Crazy Caleb Fails. Now this is how Straight Dope thinks Caleb did it. He thinks that Caleb had created a fake inbox and Caleb's studying computer science so you know it would it would only make sense that he's very knowledgeable about these things and he'd know how to create a fake inbox. So what can we take away from this? Well we already know that screenshots can be faked, now we know that YouTube inboxes can be faked. I, I, I'm not saying this method is foolproof but it avoids all of the problems that have been addressed so far. If you want to make an accusation and you want that accusation to be taken seriously then I would recommend this as the only accurate way you could do it. You use a handheld camera so that you can't edit still images and there's some wobble so that you know instantly that instantly means that it would be extremely difficult to edit still images it being incredibly time consuming and no one would want to go to that trouble you start off from your desktop that's very important you don't have an already open um, web page because that could be a proxy you go into your browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever, Safari uh, you show yourself very clearly, you know that's clearly Google, it's not a proxy you can see from the address, all I did was click Internet Explorer you then type in YouTube, you don't go to anything saved in your you know, drop down list at the top uh, there's YouTube there, that's undeniably YouTube I haven't accessed it today so I don't know what uh, sponsorship videos it'll be. Uh, let's take a brief look and see if there's anything. Uh... Oh, TJ's got a video, King Heathen's got a video, Nolplum99, yes I'd highly recommend subscribing to him as well, he's excellent. Uh, Rosebush, uh, yeah, I'll have to say something about the uh, Coughlin thing as well and Rosebush's idea to stop that. Or someone else's as well, but you know, again you know, URL is clearly YouTube uh, this is clearly my inbox, I just go into personal messages here and there we go I used a handheld camera all the way uh, my hand was wobbling so I couldn't edit the still images I started from my desktop so I didn't have anything already open so that uh, there would be you know there would be problems with them um, you know proxies or it could be accused of that or anything like that and that's how you do it that is probably not foolproof like I said but I think it's the closest we're gonna get until you know until they somehow learn to fake that so I hope this was somewhat worthwhile thank you for watching goodbye